Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is Jotnot. It's a $5 application available in the iTunes App Store right now. Go.tagjag.com slash Jotnot. I purchased it yesterday, and it's already turned out to be one of the best applications I've used on the iPhone. Essentially, Jotnot turns your iPhone into a portable document scanner. So uh, I took a picture of a, a document earlier, and now I had automatically made the optimizations on this particular application. I could have scanned multiple pages into a single document. This is handy, again, if you're nowhere near a copier, scanner, let's say fax machine, anything that is going to allow you to more easily take pictures and organize those things uh, in an automated capacity. And if you've already got your iPhone with you, well then it makes a lot of sense for you to have a portable document scanner. And you're thinking, why well, could you just use the camera? Well, let me show you exactly what Jotnot does. Either I can choose an existing document, or I'm sorry, existing photo, on my iPhone, or I can take the photo of something else, and so that's what I'm going to do. I've got a, a coupon of sorts that I'm going to hold up. Now, I can choose to stabilize the camera, and if I do that, then when it's the most still, that's when it's going to capture the image. Of course, I could also press the capture button, capture on demand. Uh, looks good. I'm going to go ahead and use that. So now, before I get to processing, I have to define the edges of this particular document, and it did a pretty good job on its own. I'm just going to tweak the corners a bit, like that. It looks like the top right and top left look okay. Uh, I can choose to uh, save uh, out to a letter format or legal format if I wanted to for page or the entire document because you can have multiple pages inside a document. Yes, this will process multiple pages in a single document. Uh, I can also go in and tweak different presets for either receipts or documents, whiteboards, blackboards, or light text photography. Uh, I can change resolution, the JPEG quality, the contrast, the background set to white, and that's what most documents are. But you could also have light text on dark, so if you were to take a photo of a blackboard, uh, you'd want to set that option for that particular quote-unquote scan. Uh, black and white is sufficient for a lot of scanning, especially for uh, anything that you're doing with uh, receipts. I'm going to go ahead and hit the process button. So again, I held this piece of paper up in front of the iPhone's camera. It automatically stabilized, balanced, scanned everything in, and now I have this coupon, which could have been a receipt, could have been a document, could have been anything. It has automatically formatted it to be perfect for storage. I didn't need to just take a photo of it. It's optimized it for me automatically. And then let's say I had 15 other coupons or you know documents, or I'm sorry, pages to put inside the document, I could manage multiple pages within a single document. Now, where that becomes important is if I select this and I choose I want to email the page, it'll ask me, how do I want to export this particular page? PDF, JPEG, PNG, etc. The same goes if I have multiple pages within a single document. So, you know, I took some scans earlier, uh, but none of them have more than one page. But if I wanted to, I could easily go in and choose something from my camera roll. Let's see here, what could I use? Uh, hmm. Nothing really documentacular. Now let's do this one. This is actually a, a, a bank statement uh, that I had uh, gone in and, and you, uh, taken a picture of before I had actually purchased the application. Now you notice it's kind of at an angle. It automatically detected the edges since I had the bank statement sitting on a table at an angle uh, from, from the camera's lens uh, and I didn't have any way of making it look better you know, when it came to posterity, you know, like holding onto it and passing it along because it had the wood table behind it. So it automatically detects the edges. I can press the process button. It processes the image and then should then automatically add this page to that document that I was already editing. So there's the document, page one, page two. So then I can send that particular document uh, to e through email in a PDF. Uh, I could also send the images to Evernote. I could save the PDF uh, to a WebDAV server or WebDAV server. Even iDisk export automatically happens. I can mount uh, the application so that I can access it by way of Wi-Fi through my local network. Jotnot turns your iPhone into a portable document scanner. It's awesome. If you take pictures or you scan uh, any kind of receipts, any kind of documents, you're going to want this app. $5, I purchased it myself, go.tagjag.com slash jotnot. Absolutely worth it. 
it works amazingly well. You see me demonstrate it right here for you. Uh, there are a few of these types of apps in the iTunes App Store, but when I read the reviews and did the, uh, uh, well, I guess the discovery process, this was the winner because of the fact that it could save multiple pages uh, into a single document. Very, very helpful, very, very handy, and I can tell you it's already paid for itself. My email address, chris at perillo.com. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that app just to show you. I've got 400, well, and some odd apps installed on my iPhone. If you know of another good app I can install, let me know. <laughs> yes, I also uh, take uh, iTunes gift certificates in case uh, you don't want to donate anything to, you know, my app addiction. We've got a community of tech enthusiasts over at geeks.perillo.com, and as a matter of fact, go ahead and exit out of that app, hit a new page. The uh, Geeks website is optimized for the iPhone. If you go to geeks.perillo.com on the iPhone, it'll automatically redirect to the iPhone optimized site. Tons of activity happening all the time. Look at all that. And this is all within the last hour. Actually, it's all within the last half hour. And it's 11.24 p.m. Geeks are active, even this late at night. We also have a chat room. It's a part of a live video feed going out uh, in this internet thing. You can even get to our live video feed through the Ustream application. Uh, the viewer app will allow you to uh, to watch the live video feed. Uh, then we, the, with the chat room, of course. And we are typically talking tech. If you press the popular button, usually Chris Perillo Live is, is right there. And I'm going to go ahead and, and tap that. I can't believe I actually said tap that, and then I recorded it on the on the video. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to wait for the uh, video to buffer fully because uh, it's even over Wi-Fi, only at 25 percent right now. So just wait, and you will see the live video feed that you would normally see if you either use this application or you went to the website. We have also got widgets you can download to your desktop, no matter what operating system you happen to use and 90% there we go and it's me right now uh, doing the review you can actually see me here let me pull this up let me, I may need to turn up the volume here give me a minute waiting for it to turn on its side there we go okay see that oh sorry widgets you can download to your desktop no matter what operating system you happen to use 90%, there we go. And it's me right now uh, doing the review. You can actually see. Kind of crazy. Anyway, <clears throat> 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.